Good morning everyone, it's Fiona from the Facebook page Angelic Inspiration. I just decided to pull a card for the whole week, um, well I actually pulled two cards, and this time I've pulled a card from Wisdom of the Hidden Realms by Colette Baron reed And the card is number seven, the Well Watcher, Wisdom, Power of the Divine, Ally. The well watcher signals the need to go within to contemplate the true source of power in the world, which he reminds you is that of the divine. This message to let you know that you're being called to the well and this unseen power that will there will be there and will be yours to align with. This affirmation and prayer will invite you invite the divine to bring miracles and resolution to your life. They will be done through me for the highest good of all and for the true manifestation of my purpose. You will know the way forward by the still, small voice within. The Divine also may answer your call by sending others to help guide you. Challenger The Well Watcher comes to let you know that you're run out of steam. Self-will alone isn't enough to make things happen. All cannot, cannot be yours at this time. If you feel you're going nowhere, it's because you're meant to stay put. Willfulness can lead you to lead to your becoming like a bull in a china shop, creating havoc as you push forward. Remember the sacred creative source of the water in the well. Drink some and be still, and contemplate the true origin of power. It isn't you. So drink deeply of the wisdom of the divine and listen to the beautiful music playing through your life. When you've made a conscious contact with your higher power, you can move forward again, replenished and renewed. This is also an important time to restore harmony in your relationship, since you may be temporarily out of tune with one another. If there's a strength struggle between you, remember that only the divine has the true power and you won't feel the need to struggle anymore. So basically what this card is saying is that things will happen and what you need to do is connect to the divine and realign yourself and if you need a break and need a rest then take it. Your um, chores are not going to run away just because you've stopped doing them. They'll still be there even if you just take an hour or two just to sit and be still with yourself um, and also just reconnect to your mind, body and soul and breathe in deeply and meditate or whatever it is, listen to music, dance, paint, draw, write, talk to friends, whatever it is that makes you feel connected. Even sit down and, and, and look at your own oracle cards or if you've got crystals, recharge them, cleanse them and just sit and hold them for a while um, you know anything that makes you feel reconnected and realigned um, maybe go for some healing or a massage or whatever bake a cake have a nice cup of tea or coffee um, or water um, and and have have something that makes you feel good or ask somebody to give you a pampering session um, then I pulled a card from Angel from Mary Jack's Angel Oracle Cards, pocket full of Angel's Oracle Cards. Sorry, I'm not with it today. Um, Angel Thoughts Are you finding yourself having random, unexplained ideas and thoughts lately? These are an angelic communications giving you guidance towards your independent path of contentment. Um, your angels are steering you through your instincts, your inner knowingness, so please take some time out to assimilate your thoughts, listen to your inner voice and follow your, their loving guidance and you will be glad that you did. See this card complements the card that I've just pulled, it's basically, you know, you're on the right path, um, you might need to sit down and, and be still and take, take time out and relax and realign yourself and the thoughts and dreams that will just come to you will be phenomenal um, in terms of changing your life and turning it around. So, you know, don't be scared and don't um, don't delay either because the more you, you, you try and go against it, 
um, the longer it will take for you to um, get back on this path. And if you're feeling out of touch with friends and family, don't worry about it. That It will all come back and it will all work itself out if it's meant to. If not, you know, there will be people coming into your life that you at least expect that you um, probably never even thought of in, in, um, in years um, to rebalance you and, and remind you of, of who you are. And now I've also pulled a card from... Um, Doreen Virtue's Daily Guidance from your Angels Oracle Cards deck. Trustworthy Guidance. You've received a wonderful idea as an answer to, to your prayers. This idea is real and trustworthy. You can safely move forward with it, knowing that we are with you every step of the way. Ask for and be open to receiving our support for anything that you need related to this idea. There you go. I think all three cards. It's all about listening and following the guidance and the ideas um, in a loving and caring way. But you do have to look after yourself before you can look after or be there for anybody else. And I think it's important that a lot of people forget that if you're not looking after yourself and giving yourself the breaks that you need, it is impossible to be there 100% for somebody else. And that includes your children. You've got to take, you know, my children come first. I hear that a lot. I agree, my, my child comes first. But I do have to look after myself so that I can be there and re be replenished enough to be there for my child, if that makes sense. And that goes with everything else in life. Um, I'm also being shown that um, maybe, you know, if you have plants and, and flowers or you can go outside and touch some flowers or buy some flowers or a plant and then put it in your home, that will um, replenish you as well. It will give you a um, sense of connection, make you happy just looking at it and feed it and watch it grow um, or even just when you buy a bunch of flowers, seeing how long you can keep that alive. Um, that's a little target and, and something that you can do for yourself, with yourself. Um, anyway, that's that. That's all I've got from the angel. Sorry for my little stutters and um, my cat says hello. I don't know if you heard him. Um, his name is Joe Fiel. So I hope, you know, someone, at least one person out there listening will know what, what this is about and, and feel that this was for them. Have a beautiful day. And again, sorry about my stumbling um, through through a couple of bits over there now starting to stumble again so have a good laugh and raise the vibration funny bye